Hello all. My name is Nina Liakos and I have a pretty long history of EVO. Uh, I was working at the University of Maryland outside of Washington DC in 2006 when my supervisor recommended that everybody sign up for a session at EVO and I had never heard of it. So I was a skilled user of email and word processing at that time. That was about it. I had no presence on the web. So I looked over the possible sessions and chose becoming a webhead, which was a classic way to start. And it was such an amazing life changing experience for me. After that, I participated in EVO every year. And I started going to TESOL conventions mostly because I wanted to meet the people that I met uh, in EVO sessions. The first one I went to was Seattle in 2007, where I met Vance and Tere and Daphne and um, many more people, more than I could count. It was the most amazing thing. Uh, it was at a T-cell convention in 2013, I think, that the then lead coordinator, Carla Arena, invited me to join the team and I was kind of overwhelmed, but I said, sure, I'll, I'll do my best. And you can't imagine what a shock it was the, the next year when I became lead coordinator. And was I ready for that? Nope. I don't know if anybody can be ready for that. It, it was a a daunting responsibility. I was lead coordinator in 2014 and 2015 and then stepped back a little bit to be former coordinator in 2016, 17 and I see I'm still on on the list in 2018 but since I retired in 2015 I don't think I was being very helpful at that point. Um, what I think my my legacy was, what I would hope my legacy was, is bringing in new people to relieve the exhausted ones, the burned out ones. <laughs> um, and also coming to, to grips with the issue of badges and certificates, which were, that, that was always a big issue where participants uh, really wanted credit, which we could never grant, of course, not being an accredited institution. Um, but they wanted certificates. They wanted something to show that they had had done this. But uh, to do that in a fair way was was very challenging. Uh, we didn't want to, to put more of a burden on the moderators who were already doing so much and we're all volunteers. So um, when I was coordinator or former coordinator, I can't remember, um, we uh, set up a policy that, that allowed sessions to grant certificates if they had very clear criteria for the certificates and the criteria were made public to, to all the participants at the beginning so that they could either do or not do what they had to do in order to get a certificate. Whew. And then because it seemed crazy to give the participants certificates and not the moderators, we started giving all the moderators and then the coordinators certificates. I don't know if they still do that, but I still have my certificates somewhere. So uh, that's my EVO story. Uh, 
it was an amazing thing. It still is an amazing thing. I'm not teaching anymore, but uh, I know EVO is going strong. There are about the same number of sessions we had when I was lead coordinator, about 18. Uh, and this is 20 years in, so go EVO. You are the best. <laughs>